which could be complemented by a 200 gallon monowheel trailer fuel tank if you hate yourself or you could strap on a 100 gallon armored fuel tank to the rear of the tank. Uh, the range was with just the internal fuel was uh, only 60 miles on the road um, so very very short distance just under 100, just around 100 k's and with a speed of 21 and a half miles per hour or 7 miles per hour in reverse which again is twice as fast as the previous British tank so not bad. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was it wasn't a great top speed, particularly with something that started its design as a cruiser, and it was certainly that Merritt Brown gearbox was doing a lot of work taking the tear away power of the uh, Meteor engine and uh, turning it into the torquey um, low speed power of uh, the, the Centurion. And welcome to Martin uh, from Germany. <laughs> Hello, Martin. Uh, Martin E. Mm. Thank you for joining us. Um, right, then we get into development and design. Uh, de design started in 1943 under the direction of the Australian. Uh, he wasn't a sir at the ta at that stage, but he was uh, became Sir Claude Gibb. But it was mainly William Robotham who championed the engine and the tank, trying to get the War Office to figure out what they actually wanted. He, uh, as we said previously in our previous episode, he ended up having to quit a few times before they actually started to try to build a good tank. Um, every time he quit, they'd have to drag him back in, and they'd actually start listening to him again. 